Hello folks, welcome back to the channel and another video. Hey, don't mind my voice, a um, few cold ones last night with a few of my mates and uh, this is what happens to my voice every time. But um, hopefully at this stage of the game, you've all got your um, Christmas prep all finished up. Obviously, I know uh, most of the men out there probably just completed theirs yesterday, probably started it and completed it yesterday, or maybe you're the gambling type and you're going to complete it today start it and complete it today if so i understand fair play <laughs> that is no easy task and if you don't celebrate christmas at all then you have nothing to worry about but anyway on to photography stuff that's my new camera face in case you haven't seen previous videos and i've got my new camera right here and i'd be highly surprised if any of you guessed what it is me get it out of this little well this is a little uh a little uh, clue if you can see that don't know if it's focusing it's a little kodak bag and this is my new camera kind of cool isn't it it is the kodak ektar h35 half frame film camera and i thought i just left the battery on from last night but i didn't uh, yeah, don't think any of you would have expected this to be my next camera, but it is. Um, this video is actually not really going to be about this camera in particular. I am going to do a video on it um, come at some point soon, talking a little bit more about it. But this video is just a little quick one more about why I got this camera. Why this camera? Why this type of camera? And what am I using this for? That's what this is about. It is kind of cute though, isn't it? I like it. And the reason I got this camera is pretty damn simple. It's to capture memories. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking, but you have a few other cameras, film and digital, why do you not use those? And do you not already use, use those to capture memories? And I would kind of say not really for that question, if you are asking that. Um, more so because I kind of think of my other cameras and the way I'm taking photos with those cameras um, as like trying to make art, if that makes sense. Um, if we're traveling or even here in Ireland, normally in the videos and with those cameras, I'm trying to take a nice photo of a scene and almost create a piece of art. So like every time I'm taking a photo or most of the time, um, I'm trying to find things that I think would make a great print that's kind of what's going on in my head most of the time if i see a nice scene i kind of imagine it as a print not always the case because sometimes we just take photos of of more simple scenes or things that are not going to be um you're in your best photos of the year for example um but most of the time i'm trying to make a piece of art if that makes sense i'm not really thinking about capturing a photo of that scene for a memory even though they kind of are all memories because you were there and took the photo and when you see the photo you're going to think back to that time but I'm not thinking of it that way I'm thinking more of creating a great photo of this scene as a piece of art I don't know if you get what I mean but hopefully you do now I would class let's say portraits like if I take a portrait of Christina while we're traveling yes I'm trying to make it a nice photo but it's Christina in that place and I would call that more of a memory photo or more of a photo I'm taking for a memory. It, even selfies and stuff like that. I would look at those more as memory photos or photos I'm taking to create a memory, something I can look back on. Hopefully you're still with me on this. Those type of photos are photos where I'm not really thinking about art or trying to make something, trying to create art. I'm just trying to capture a memory or a moment or a photo of someone in particular or them doing something um, it's not really about creating a masterpiece if you know what I mean again apologies for my voice it's like kind of cutting out from time to time which is very strange as you heard right there and again <laughs> so long story short I got this camera to capture those type of memories and if some of you seen a previous video you may have heard me mention that I got a new camera, I was going to do a video on it. And then next week I'm actually going on a little trip to Madrid. And I did order a new camera specifically for this trip. It was this one. 
Now, this is the second one of these I've got because I did say I was taking it to Madrid and I was going to do a video on it. That was a camera the exact same as this one. I took it to Madrid and on the first night had a few too many cold ones, uh, a bit like I did last night. And uh, I left the camera there and that was the last I seen it. Luckily, it was the first night. I had only took a few photos, so I wasn't too, uh, well, I was a bit bummed out, but I didn't have a whole pile of memories on the roll. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, this is the uh, second one of these that I've now bought. So that kind of shows you how much I like the camera. But while I did have it for the first day in Madrid, it was just really fun to use and capturing pictures and stuff is just so easy. I think for capturing the type of photos that I'm talking about, those photos that you'll keep for memories and look back on in years to come, the more simple and easy the camera is to use, the better. I don't want to be flicking through settings, trying to work out exposure and stuff when it's not really about that. It's about capturing a moment quick and easy you don't want to be messing around with all your settings and stuff because who wants to do that my voice is it really going i'm gonna kind of wrap this one up before i completely lose it uh, i really didn't think um my voice would have been as bad and this video would have been as hard to record as it is i do apologize but the entire reason i got this camera now is because i knew coming up to christmas i'd be going out for dinner and drinks and stuff with friends and Christmas Day and around Christmas, I'd be around family and stuff and I tried to capture some photos last year with the Fuji X-T30, which is a pretty fun camera to use, but even it is still a little bit too complicated to just snap away, um, I think. And plus you kind of want to edit photos a lot of the time. I know you can use the film simulations, which is really handy and could work, but I just found this camera absolutely perfect for what I want to capture. Um, during this time so the entire reason i wanted to make this video is to tell you to do the exact same because as photographers i think we should kind of be the ones to say i'll take the camera with me i'll capture all the photos because not everyone be thinking of doing it and then you kind of miss out on having all these photos to look back on um i know i have lots of photos of like family trips and stuff years ago holidays and stuff where my family took the photos and i think because um, 35mm film cameras um, and refillable or disposable cameras and stuff were a thing then. Um, people took more photos. I know you can use your phone now, but I just don't really find it fun taking photos on the phone. And I feel like when I have a camera like this, I'm more likely to take more photos on it. Um, yeah, so take photos around Christmas. Get photos of your family or friends, whatever it is. Um, get a camera or use the camera you have that's the most simple and basic or maybe buy one something like this maybe a disposable film camera maybe a really simple digital camera um it's just fun it's cool to have the memories to look back on and you'll be glad you did it. and you'll be glad you did it the sentence is just kind of fade away when my throat's like this it's kind of strange and just like that i do think it is more fun when it's a film camera because you can't look and go, oh, I don't really like that photo. I'll take it again. You take it and you assume it's nice. If you think somebody blinked, you can maybe take another one. But you don't see it for maybe a week or two weeks time. And I think that just kind of adds to the, the enjoyment of it. Um, plus, film just looks so nice. Especially when you have a little, this camera has a little bit on flash. So, yeah, you, you can kind of always get decent photos. But yeah, fun little camera. I'll talk more about that in another video. But yeah, I just wanted to say... Do that during Christmas. I think you'll have a fun time and some cool memories to look back on. But anyway, I'm going to finish this one up here because the voice is gone and you're probably already sick of listening to my kind of stupid voice today. But uh, yeah, happy Christmas to you all. Hope you have a great one. Don't have too many cold ones, even though I'm not sure I will follow my own advice there. But uh, yeah, have a great Christmas. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas, have a great time um, doing whatever you're doing this weekend and next week. And if we don't have another video, although I do plan on having one, but you know how it goes. Uh, happy New Year to you all. Hope you have a great one. And uh, I'll see you in 2024. Kind of crazy. Hopefully we can have a few more trips. Although, after the whole engagement thing, like I said, not sure if I can buy any more cameras and go on any more trips for a while, but fingers crossed.
And just before I finish, Christina wants to say uh, happy Christmas to you all and a happy new year. But she's in her pajamas wrapping Christmas presents. So I'm just going to stick my head in. Can you even see me? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> just want to say happy Christmas to you all. Happy new year. And here's to next year. Many more adventures and photos. I said um, we're not going to have any money to go on any trips or anything because oh, no. wedding and everything. <laughs> we'll try. See ya.